Oh, you know, I probably should have checked my internet connection before I started this. But everything looks okay, so maybe it'll be okay. Hello. Welcome. We are here. Sorry, I'm just fascinated by my own eyebrows. Um, I'm not very good at moving my eyebrows. Whoa, I didn't even change any of this crap. <laughs> Hold on, it's a runescape. Uh, oh, oh god, I've ruined everything. Oh, hard, hardcore ultimate Iron Man by update or drop. Old school RuneScape. I. I. I am. I am fool. <laughs> let us check to make sure I had my tab stuff open properly, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, let's just click start. Alright. It's set up now. We're here. Our quest that we're on is. Um, oh, we're doing the Goblin Diplomacy one, aren't we? Oh, shoot. Freaking members world, stop it. <laughs> Just let me log in. Uh, you know, I completely forgot I was on Goblin Diplomacy. I thought that we were on um, Dragon Slayer next, so I was going to drink this extra tall boy of Dr. Pepper because I don't I don't drink. I have drank, but I don't because alcohol is disgusting. It tastes like poopy. Except some of the Nihon Chu I've tried, which actually tastes like uh, cough syrup. Alright, so we are supposed to go make Blue armor. Blue armor. Okay. Glad I wrote that down, because if the NPCs didn't say it again, I'd be in trouble. I have a bunch of differently cover colored armor. I gotta get back into the um, back into the groove I can already feel all of my skills being rusty that I had trained and honed of not clicking things, not dragging things. Um, so, I'm probably going to drop something this stream at least once. Huh. <sighs> We need to get woad leaves. So we need to go talk to the gardener. Because uh, that's where we get woad leaves. For the blue dye. I don't remember how many woad leaves we need. I think it's woad leaves. Which I think you can actually grow a woad plant as a member. Interesting. Interesting. Kind of cool things. Man, I remember when people would get married in this park. <laughs> uh, does anybody remember that? There's not really anybody here. But, anyway, I'm the head gardener around here. If you're looking for woad leaves or if you need help with with out, I'm your man. Yes, please, I need woad leaves. How much are you willing to pay? Um, ten coins? No, that's far too little. Wool leaves are hard to get. I used to have plenty, but someone kept stealing them off me. Oh, fifteen coins? Mm, okay, that sounds fair. Thanks. Do I only? I feel like I need more, right? at 
least at least three. Maybe three or five or something. I'll get five just in case. I mean, I've got the money. What if I try to uh, buy them for five? How about five coins? Now as far as global is hard, yeah, I so. How about ten coins? How about twenty coins? That's more than fair. Here, have two, you're a generous person. Whoa! It's almost as if being generous can get you somewhere. Maybe in a game. Real life is a bit tricky on that, though. Just a bit. I need more space. Oh, I can already feel the pain of this drink. Hmm. That hurts the uh, flaming hot chips I had. Is it the beginning of heartburn? I don't know. I don't even know what heartburn is. People say it all the time. I've never really understood what heartburn is. I know what acid reflux is. Because I live with that on a daily basis. Me and acid reflux, we go way back. Ever since I was little. You know? Stomach acid. Crawling up your esophagus. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Burns. <laughs> Burns like the Dickens. It would actually make it really difficult to sleep because I'd have it at night. Probably because I had soda right before bed or something. And uh, I'd go and lay down and I, I could not sleep. I remember one time I was at a. This is a story time now. Story time. I was at a uh, youth camp, and I, I didn't bring. Whenever I went to like youth camp and stuff, I didn't bring like extra stuff. I'd have a blanket, which would either be a sheet or something, or my towel. There was one year I didn't have a blanket at all because I forgot it, so I had my towel. That was wet <laughs> from using it in the shower. Um, had my blanket, towel, and a pillow. And, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I didn't have really anything to prop myself up with except my bag, which was usually too big. Um, I need dyes. Blue, please. Oh, only two wood leaves. Oh. Well, I just bought a wo lot of wood leaves from that guy. But anyway, I remember that I had to take my shoes. <laughs> and they didn't smell that great. I had to take my shoes to prop my pillow up onto to <laughs> prop myself up on so that way I wasn't in as much pain or discomfort I should say it's not especially painful it's more like discomfort and you don't want it feels like somebody's going to spew you forth because that's what it's trying to do it's trying to bubble up or whatever and escape And that's why I like my recliner. Whoever whoever made the recliner is a freaking genius. Who who was that actually? Who invented the recliner? Daniel F. Kattelmeyer. 
patented a recliner as owner of National Furniture Manufacturer. MFG, this manufacturing. So, Cobason Manufacturing Company based in Evansville, Indiana. I wonder if that's true. If it is, it's interesting. And that man's a genius. I don't know if he invented it or if he just patented it. But by golly, whoever did, freaking genius. I love my recliner. Hmm. It's my friend whenever I want to relax, and it's my friend whenever I feel sick. And it's my friend whenever I can't sleep at night. My best friend, Mr. Recliner. He's come to save me when I'm in need. My best friend, Mr. Recliner. He holds me up. And helps me breathe. Need and breathe don't really run very well. And uh, holds me up and... And recites a creed. It's better, but makes less logical sense. Why is my recliner reciting a creed to me? And that makes me begin to suspect that my recliner is now possessed. And trying to indoctrinate me into some sort of cult. You know what I really should be doing right now? I should probably be studying. I haven't been studying here past week or so. Um, which is very, very ungood. Very ungood. Because uh, I'm, I'm trying to learn Japanese. And it's already difficult enough as it is trying to learn a language, a different language. Um, let alone a different language on your own. You know, teaching yourself. Let alone not study. Uh, it kind of makes things hard. Alright, General Bent Nose. Oh, wait, I should probably use that. Alright. Rammer, no. They make you look fat. Shut up, fatty. Shut up. Um. What? Yes, he looks fat. Um, I have some blue armor here. Take the blue armor, please. Grubfoot! Yes, General War's face. Put on this armor. What do you think? That not right. Not goblin color at all. Goblins wear dark, earthy colors like brown. Yeah, brown might be good. Human, get us brown armor. But I thought brown was the armor you were changing from. Never mind, anything is worth a try. Hey, what do you know? Here you go, General Bent Nose. You should wear green armor. Green armor? Are you stupid? You stupid. Only stupid goblins think red armor better. No, they don't. Me think red armor better. That because you stupid. Me not stupid. Then why you not like green armor? Because red armor better. Only stupid goblins think that. You stupid. I have some brown armor here. Grubfoot! Yes, General Wardface? Put on this armor! What do you think? That color quite nice. Me can see myself wearing that. It's a deal then. Brown armor it is. Thank you for sorting out our argument, human. You have reward now. Thanks, I think. Yay! We did it! 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 Crafting XP. 
200 and a gold bar wow wow a gold bar look we've got another quest done so here's what we got here's what we've got we're now into the 11th of June 2001 this is where things get nice for us um, because now we have access to fishing thank God <laughs> Um, also, Pirate's Treasure, the quest Pirate's Treasure, is here. We now have Pirate's Treasure. Um, stop it. We can also PM friends. Um, we also now have access to magic. I think we still have to wait on prayer. Yeah. Have to wait on prayer. Um, the Ice Dungeons... At, in, expanded and improved, so there's ice warriors there now. We had to run from them. Um, prayer time expanded. Can't do it. Questless button added. Da, 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 da. Sorry, you can't see where I'm pointing. Da, 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 da. Port Serum Fishing Shop added. Um, ten fish to catch. Five different fishing techniques. More things to cook and eat, like fish. And Karumja has been added, which costs, I believe, 30 gold to go there and 30 gold to come back. Um, the only thing is, if we go over there and we can't come back, or if we go over there and have to drop everything, um, it might be a bit before we can come back. Because I'm not entirely sure. There's like a, a banana farm you can like put bananas in crates I don't know if that'll give you enough money to come back I would imagine so right um, so we can PM friends now which means our friends list can now be put to all okay Do I want it set to all, or should I just set it to friends? I don't know. I don't think I have any anybody on here who's... I'm, I'm not big enough to have anybody, like, come and harass me. Well, maybe harass me, but not, like, tons of people. Hmm. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start Pirate's Treasure. Finally, you've got more stuff now. Yay. Yes. I do have more stuff. I can now use magic. Magic. Um, and fishing. I'll harass you, but I don't feel like getting the game. I mean, it's free. You don't have to get it. I mean, download it, maybe. I think with what little coin I have left, I want to buy a fishing net. No, I, I should probably wait. Actually, I could probably sell this gold bar. Because I don't know what else I'm going to do with it. Oh, I forgot to do research on what I can craft. Oops. My bad. Oh, well. So now we can go over here and talk to the captain. The pirate cap, not captain talk, not you. Talk to, uh, cut gothics. That's not nice. Talk to this guy, Redbeard Frank. Arr, matey! Uh, I'm in search of treasure. Our treasure you be after, eh? Well, I might be able to tell you where to find some for a price. What sort of price? 
Well, for example, if you can get me a bottle of rum. Not just any rum, mind. I like some rum made on Karamja Island. There's no rum like Karamja rum. Yes. Okay, I will bring you some rum. You're a saint, although it'll take a miracle to get it off Karamja. What do you mean? The customs office has been clamping down on the export of spirits. You seem like a resourceful young lad. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way to slip this stuff past them. Well, I'll give it a shot. Ah, oh, that's the spirit. Cool, thanks. Alright. So we just gotta go to Karamja. Karamja, Karamja. Poor, poor, awesome Karamja. All these people training magic on rats and seagulls. You... Is that really... There's no way... That's not the... That... Why? <laughs> I ask why. Do you want to go on a trip to Karamja? The trip will cost you 30 coins. Yes, please. The ship arrives at Karamja. Hit the gangplank. Hit the gangplank running. Alright, so first we need to get some alcohol. Also, this is the place where we would fish um, lobsters and swordfish. Which I would very much like. Are you wanting to try some of my fine wines and spirits? All brewed locally on Karumja Island. Yes, please. Karumja rum, 30 gold pieces. Of course it is. That's a lot of money. It makes me sad. Makes me sad. It makes me sad. Oh, that's in your room. Hey, Luthus. Hello, I'm Luthus. I run the banana plantation here. Could you offer me employment on your plantation? Yes, I can sort something out. There's a crate ready to be loaded onto the ship. You wouldn't believe the demand for bananas from Wyden's shop over in Port Serum. I think this is the third crate I've shipped him this month. If you could fill it up with bananas, I'll pay you 30 gold. Perfect. So we use this on this crate. Sash the rum in the crate. How many bananas? Wait, how many, how many, wait. How many bananas did you say? How many bananas? You completed your task. What do I have to do again? If you could fill it up with bananas. Fill it up with bananas. Okay. I'm not sure how full it needs to be of bananas. But by golly, we will pick bananas until we can't pick bananas anymore. Pick bananas, pick the bananas, pick the bananas, pick them clean. Some for me, some for you. Oh, I, uh, this pertains nothing to my streams, because I haven't really streamed this game. Um, Zenith has a new update coming out for, uh, an instance dungeon, for player instance dungeon, as well as, um, the, they have an internal idea of when the, Big update, next big update comes. So I might have to strap the headset back on soon and get back to doing what I should be doing, which is three starring all of the uh, all of the cooking skill stuff. I have filled a crate with bananas. Well done. Here's your payment. Thank you. Oh, uh, we pay me for it. Thank you. I'll be on my way. So where the banana is going to be delivered to. Oh, that's important. I'll sell them to Wyden, who runs a grocery store in Port Serum. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Luthus. I'm out of here. 
They're not gonna steal my bananas, are they? Can I help you? Can I journey on the ship? You need to be searched before you can board. Search away, I have nothing to hide. We've got some odd stuff, but it's all legal now. You need to pay a boarding fee of 30 coins. Okay. Port Sarum, we're here. Port Sarum, oh, Port Sarum, oh, Port Sarum, we're here. We are here in Port Sarum. Um, I think I actually need to check the shop that they were talking about. The grocery store. There should be like a crate somewhere. Probably in the back. You can't go in there, only employees of the grocery store can go in. Well, can I get a job here? Well, you're keen. I'll give you that. Okay, I'll give you a go. Have you got your own white apron? No, I haven't. Well, you can't work here unless you have a white apron. Health and safety regulations, you mind. You understand. Where can I get one of those? Well, I got all of mine over at the clothing shop in Varrock. They sell them cheap there. Oh, and I'm sure that I've seen a spare one over in Garrett's fish store somewhere. It's a little place just north of here. Huh. Huh. Well... Just to be safe, we'll go to Varrock. Then again, that one is right there. Changed my mind. I was thinking I had a story I could tell to last that long. I don't think I do. Let's go there and back. Nah. Nah, free is cheaper than um, not free. All right, give me a job. Um, can I get a job here? Well, you're keen. Uh, I also have one right here. Wow, you are well prepared. You're hired. Go through the, to the back and tidy up for me, please. Yeah, right. Tidy up. You find a bottle of rum. Do you want to take a banana? No. Um, can I tell him I quit? Um, so are you going to pay me yet? Um, no, not yet. Well, then I'm leaving. <laughs> You're not going to pay me, then I'm leaving. I wonder if there's a way you could actually tidy up back there. Probably not. <laughs> Redbeard Frank, Redbeard Frank. Arr, matey. Have you brought some rum for your old mate, Frank? Yes, I've got some. Now a deal's a deal, I'll tell you about the treasure. I used to serve under a pirate captain called One-Eyed Hector. Hector were very successful and became very rich. But about a year ago, we were, aboard, we were boarded by the customs and excise agents. Hector were killed along with many of the crew. I were one of the few to escape, and I escaped with this. Frank happily takes the rum and hands you a key. This be Hector's key. I believe it opens his chest in his old room in the Blue Moon Inn in Varrock. With any luck, his treasure will be in there. So why didn't you ever get it? I'm not allowed in the Blue Moon Inn. Apparently I'm a drunken troublemaker. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Enjoy the... Enjoy the rum that I smuggled for you. Leave it to pirates to want to smuggle things.
Um, do I want to go this way? Sure, why not? Do I have a story to tell? Not, not particularly. I don't think. I don't think I have any stories. Do I have any stories? Not really. Uh, no stories. Tonight's story time is kind of lame. Just, uh... Oh shoot, I should have bought a... Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go buy a fishing net before I get too far. Um, that way we don't have to walk all the way back here. We can just go straight to fishing. Because I want that up really fast. Really, really fast. Back in Port Sarah. I need a fishing net. Five coins. No, that's fine. A bait pack. What the heck? Hmm. Don't drop that. I need that. Oh, I wonder if they still have... I think that's the uh, cat fight minigame. There's a... Uh, there are a bunch of really cool mini games, or I think they were cool, um, in RuneScape 2 that they ended up getting rid of in RuneScape 3. And one of them was down that that hole, and it was a, uh, I mean, I say really cool, if you're an animal lover and you don't like seeing animals fight, you probably wouldn't like it. So that that game probably didn't go over very well for some people because <laughs> pretty much what you do is you pitch your your full-grown cat against someone else's full-grown cat but your cats don't fight each other they fight rats and whoever kills like the most rats or something wins but you have to be careful because your cats can also die so uh you just gotta just gotta be careful on that. But I by the time I was able to do that mini game it was uh, already a long dead, long dead content. I'm sure it's still dead on RuneScape, too. I just thought it'd be cool to have a, like a clan meeting, the whole clan get together, have some cat fights, or rat rat pit fights or something. Yeah.
When is it that I can move stuff around in my inventory? Is that RuneScape 2? Because if so, I might lose my mind. Yup. Well, that's unfortunate. After this quest, we'll be able to hover our mouse over our skills to see how close we are to leveling up, which will be nice. I will like that. I will thoroughly enjoy that. Thoroughly. Just reading some of the other quests that we have coming up. Which, after Dragon Slayer, is when we start getting member stuff. Um, Merlin's Crystal? I don't remember that very well. And it doesn't say on my thing that we unlock um get what the place is called. It's not Canifus, because Canifus is the uh vampire place. Oh blue moon. Blue moon in Said upstairs in his room. What's in the chest is a message. Read pirate message. Visit the city of the White Knights in the park. Sardoman points to the X, which marks the spot. Okay. So now we go to Sar. Uh, now we go to Falador. We will need a spade. Which I'm trying to remember where we can get one. Spade. I get one legitimately. I don't think the shop. Does the shop sell them? If the shop sells them, then I'm going to buy one. Because I believe we have spades now. Eleventh of June, two thousand and one. Yeah. Which they do not sell any. Well, the only one I can remember is the one in Draenor. So I guess we'll have to go to <laughs> Draenor Manor. So yeah, whatever I was saying, that thing. Dr. 
pepper so good. So good. I love it so much. I want more. I want it injected into my bloodstream. Actually, probably not that that bit because uh, that's probably probably not healthy. Hmm. I wonder if I can sell these woad leaves. Rather not just drop them. If we can sell them, that would be great. <clears throat> but I don't know if they're worth anything. Pterodome and statue, this one points to an X of flowers or something. That's what we have to dig up. I mean, what we could do is go to Karamja <laughs> again. Of those. Well, buy them all, please. Buy the apron for zero. Awesome. Bananas. Zero. Cool, cool, cool. Glad for that. Won't even ask you about the cooked chicken. Gold. Bar. Take it. Can't use it. Awesome. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so we'll go to... I know there's a spade back in that house over there, but I'm not sure if that's even around yet because that's a construction skill related house and <laughs> I'd rather not pick it up and go, oh, well, guess you messed up there, Sonny. Time to drop all your crap and hope no one wrecks you. Not that I think anyone would. Or, yeah, I mean, it's not like there's PvP. Which I think back in the day, PvP was a thing you could do. Just open slaughter in the streets. would drive me nuts. It would drive me absolutely nuts. I should have checked to see how much the pies were worth. Hey, 
Veronica. How's Ernest doing? That's great, that's great. Glad to hear he's doing well. Just stopping by here again for a... Uh, just to get a shovel. Or a spade. As people call it. Maybe my character will move. All right, let's get out of here. To Falador, away. I'm having to resist the urge to uh, check my skills. It's really hard. The resistance of clicking on a button and moving my mouse over something is harder than one would think. Hello, Volt in Hell? No, not me. I No, you got the wrong guy, hallucination in my head. Hallucinations in my head. Hallucinations in my head. They talk to me as I walk around this world of RuneScape. I might frown because this hallucinations gone away. Oh, hey. Awesome. Thank you. So now I can go and Keep on with play. That sounded dumb. I want my character to never die. Cause if he does, then I guess I'll cry. Cause I'm playing a hardcore Iron Man. Hardcore Iron Man. He's also ultimate and played by updates. And if I screw up, I have to drop all my stakes. Because uh, I kill cows sometimes, cook the meat, you know, steaks. Beef steaks, yeah. It was, it was a little bit of a stretch, but I think it worked. This is also quest number 16, by the way. Quest number 16. Alright. Where are you pointing, Ceridoman? X marks the spot. Is this the X? Oh, I forgot what the X was. Maybe it was this. Is this the X? No. Oh god, I'm dumber than I thought. Hello, Mr. Gardener. Excuse me. Um, thank God you're level 4. I would have been in a world of hurt. I also dropped food before this encounter. I forgot you popped up. 
Shame I can't bury your bones. Hey, one-eyed Hector's treasure. And two quest points. A ring and an emerald. And some money. Ooh. Wow. Um, I can't wait to not be able to spend this. Um, now, what we shall do is we will sell the majority of our things. Not that I need money. Quest 16 is done. Probably going to drop all my crap at some point soon. Um, we are going to go fishing because I want fishing up, up, up. Um, and then we'll also do combat because uh, com combat's going to be important. Oh, uh, so we're now on quest 17, which is Dragon Slayer. Very key pivotal moments could mean life or death. Most probably death. Um, but also, we now have access to more fishing bait and shop and monster drops fishing bait. Um, burying bones gives 50% more experience, so we can bury bones now. Um, we can now tan hides and craft leather armor. Awesome. So that means I can actually train crafting. We can also hover mouse over here. Thank God, because otherwise I would have had to drop stuff just then. Um, silver rock mines are added. Holy symbol of Ceridoman added. Black hole experience in the dwarven mines added. Whatever that is. Runite items are now a thing. They are now existent. Except for the plate body, but actually that's added for us as well. Because we're in the 23rd of December 2001, right? And since everything's... The quests are the uh, milestones. Before then, we get all this, all this stuff came out between Pirate's Treasure and Dragon Slayer. So... 26th of July, Runite items were added. 23rd of September, this update we're on now, Dragon Slayer, Runite plate body was added. Um, but the only way you can wear it is if you finish Dragon Slayer. Um, Draenor and East Varrock Bank now added. Wilderness has been added because the wilderness wasn't a thing yet. Um, I think they had gotten rid, used to, I believe, you could just slaughter people endlessly in the streets. But I guess people were getting sick of that, and so they added, um, the wilderness. The wilderness is a place that is not safe for anybody, including us. Yes, we are hardcore ultimate Iron Man mode, but that doesn't mean... The players can't kill us. That just means there's more dangers. And if Summer's End is a quest in this game, in this challenge, I'm, I think we're screwed. Because that quest takes place in the wilderness. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's unfun. Um, excuse me, I need you to buy some things. Excuse me, hello? Shop assistant, I need you to buy some things, like this spade, and the chef's hat, and I'm keeping my axe. Um, I won't need that, I won't need that. I'm going to sell my axe so I can buy it again because, my god, is it going to kill me? So my red berry pies, which are valued at probably was five. Um, I can't sell this item. That's fine. I'll just drop it. Oh, here's something I can do. Actually, I can do this. I can drop. I can pick up. Cause I'm a slob. <laughs> That's how I can rearrange my inventory. Perfect. It makes sense. Uh, oh, we can trade in prayer now, which is one of our, that's our combat 99 I have to get, um, assuming we survive. 
So I might train... I do want to train that as well, actually. Um, because... I will need that for Dragon Slayer. So we have access to prayers, we have access to... Um... Prayers and magic. I don't know if it... We want to get to this level. Magic, ranged, and melee resistance. That's going to take quite some time. Many bones to bury, which will be fine because we have to train combat anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I think we'll go ahead and train on smaller, on lower level creatures. It'll be a grind, like a super, super slow grind, but I think it's necessary if I want to get prayer up faster. That way we'll have access to more bones. This is fishing. Quite swell, isn't it? We'll also be getting uh, some wood cutting, some fire making, and a bit of cooking experience from this, which will be nice. That person has a net in their hands. What is a boat? Why? Why is there a rowboat? Oh, is that a Huey and Abigail thing? Probably. <clears throat> As you can see, our fishing is not that great at low level. <laughs> and it takes forever to catch something. But it ha isn't that how it's been this whole ride with all the new quests? I mean, everything's been rather slow. I'm really excited that we are almost to member stuff. We just gotta get through Dragon Slayer. That's one of the ones that's really scaring me. Um, Hero's Quest scares me a little bit too. I actually don't remember anything about Hero's Quest. Um. Family Crest scares me a little bit. Um, Temple of Ikov, a little. One, plague, the whole Plague City stuff um, is really what worries me. Whenever we get into, where's it at? Underground Pass. That's going to be very difficult. And Legends Quest, of course. Um, but mostly... It's mostly Dragon Slayer and um, Underground Pass, because Underground Pass is. It's a pain. I don't even remember what level I was whenever I got to that one. Because, see, back in RuneScape 3, I didn't level up a whole lot once I got to a certain point. Um, just because I got lazy. For me, the game became more about hanging out with friends than going out and killing things. And uh, then whenever 
I had stopped playing for a little bit, and all my friends had uh, also stopped playing, and they never got back on. And of course, since I had met them all online, I, I couldn't be like, hey, how's it going? Unless they were on RuneScape. So I never talked to them again. Most of them. Um, so then I became a skiller, because why would I... Why would I uh, kill things? Which is odd, because in if if you talk to me in person and you know me well, my humor is very dark and morbid, and it's all about oh well, just just kill them. They're causing you problems. Just just kill them. Don't. That's all. It's all a joke. Very dark humor. Okay. Don't kill anybody. Don't kill anybody. Um, unless it's in self-defense, then... Should I be saying this? If someone is... Attempting to kill you... I personally believe you have every right to defend yourself, even if that means you have to take care of the problem. Should you always go for that solution? I don't know. I think that's circumstantial. I am not the judge. I don't know how I got on this topic. <laughs> when is it when is it morally suitable to kill people? Um I don't know. Just know that I have a dark sense of humor, so if I talk about killing people, I probably don't mean it. That or they're not real. One of the two. Wow, I'm really digging myself a pit here. Alright, so this is going to be our life for a while. We're just going to level up. And, uh... Go level up. That's our life. Level up and level up. These people with raw shrimp just dropping them on the ground. Ah, poor souls. If only they knew what a what logs in a tinder box used on one another would be so sad I was going to say I swear to god if you step on my fire and you just stay there I will end you stop it you're too close to my fire you're scaring me Congratulations, you leveled up. At least this fire is getting a lot of views. They're going at it way faster than me, but they also are cooking all at once, probably. Not one at a time. I need more logs. Um, which... I'm pretty sure I just have to go out here in the swamps. Drop all these shrimp. Cut down this tree. Mm -mm. Love me some wood cutting. Love me some fishing. 
Try to catch them fish. Show them fish who's boss. And that's me. I'm the boss. Yeah. So I believe we have access to almost every skill that's not highlighted, except for rune crafting. Yeah. Awesome. I probably want to train magic up a little bit just for that extra magic defense. Um, plus, I don't know how well it would be for us to be magically inclined for that quest. I know we'll need magic for future quests. Just not entirely sure what. stinker I guess what we could do is go and fight something after we catch fish and cook them no cuz then there's not really anything good to train around on around here all the stuff that we would want to train on is probably probably in Port Sarum If I'm being honest. Ouch. Ouch. Good news though, Digimon Survive's coming out at some point in time. Not sure if it's coming out for PC. Um, if it is, I'll probably drop a lot of things and just play Digimon Survive. If it's on PC, I might get it for PC. I'm supposed to come in June. Come out in June, like 27th or something. Let me actually double check. Survive PC. Um, I don't want a CD key. I just want to know where PC. What PC? Darker tale about survival and friendship. Oh, I'm not going to sign up for the newsletter. Hey, guys, I think I'm lost. God, I love Digimon. I need to watch more of it. I only ever watched up to... I was on season four whenever I stopped. So I was Digimon Frontier, I think. Uh, yes, where they turn into the Digimon. Season 3 is my favorite so far, um, from what I had seen. It's been a while since I would watched Digimon, but only because Season 3 got dark. <laughs> like, <laughs> Season 1, you had, uh, Angemon die. Spoilers, if you haven't seen Digimon, spoilers, what are you doing? This is also like a 20-year-old show. Um... So Angemon dies, and then it was like, dang, that's dark. What, the world's going to end, and we have to rely on these kids? <laughs> well, that's that sucks. Oh, and also, if they die in the game, they die in real life. Uh, oh, okay. Not that they were in a game, but they were in the digital world. So, there's that. That whole thing. Um, but season three just took it. Oh, season three started all happy and friendship. And like, yeah, Guillemon's awesome. And we're all going to be friends now. And 
We're, we beat, we saved the town from Digimon. And then it's like, yeah, we get to go to the digital world. And then she goes, Mew! Welcome to the dark side. Hope you uh, have, hope you're ready for some nightmare fuel. Because things are about to get dark. Oh, I hope you're ready. Sorry, I like Digimon. Season 2 was alright. It was kind of more about friendship. And redeeming. Redemption. Being pulled out of the darkness. And into the light. That's kind of what it seemed to me anyway. Because Ken was like a bad dude and then he became a a good dude because he learned the error of his ways because the dark towers were bad mumbo jumbo please cook my food cooking 33 yes I never really got to play many Digimon games whenever I was growing up. Actually, I don't think I played any Digimon games growing up. I played a little bit of um, the Digimon... Oh, what was it? There's an MMO out there. I'm on the same level as this guy. Doing them all. Frame perfect. Boom. Um, what was that game called? Shoot. Digimon MMO. Digimon Masters Online. I played a little bit of that, which I don't know where that takes place in the timeline. The English one, that's kind of odd at some points. Um, but I remember playing that quite a bit. Well, I, I can't say quite a bit. I didn't get very far. Um... But I hopped on it, I think, last year, which is fairly recently. And it has changed so much, they... I don't like it. And it's not like, uh, oh, they changed some things, so now it's... It's... Makes games too... It makes the game too easy, kind of like what they did in RuneScape. Where it's easier to level up skills now. RuneScape 3, I should say. <coughs> no, it's... I mean, they, they did make it easy to level up. Um, they pretty much wiped out, like, the tutorial stuff that they used to have and made it to where you jump in at the game at, like, level 30 or so. I think it was about level 30. Maybe even higher. So, <laughs> you jump in at end game content and it's like, well, you just kind of one took away the story because I like games for the story. RuneScape is really cool because it's got a bunch of different little stories that they don't all necessarily mix, but they kind of touch each other some way. They 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 affect each other in some way. Whereas, you know, typical MMOs, it's oh here's the one story and here's some side quests. Um, but Digimon is just like, uh, old content in the trash. We're going to power level you up in the tutorial to like level 30, maybe, it may have been 50, I don't know. And, uh, then after that, you're, uh, free to go do endgame content. And I'm like, well, I wanted to go back to the Forest of Beginnings to get my Kunamon egg. So I can get a Kunamon Digimon. You know? And the game's like, nah, you don't need that. And then at that time I was also going to get... I was actually going to purchase, with real money, a, che a Pawn Chessmon egg to hatch into a Pawn Chessmon. But you see, here's where they get you with in-game currencies and buying crap for Digimon. At least, again, Digimon Masters Online. Clean up your shrimp. 
Uh, never. Um, See, in Digimon Masters Online, the uh, that guy's going to go sell nets, I guess. Um, they, they, they made it. There's different tier eggs, so the low tier can only evolve to rookie champion. I think they had ones that evolve up to champion evolve up to ultimate and evolve up to mega I think there were three different kinds of eggs and then on top of that or maybe it was just ultimate and, ch and mega and then there was one that had a higher chance of not failing maybe for both of them I don't remember but it it was <laughs> so not only are you spending real money to to get the eggs then you're 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 spending the money for a chance on getting the Digimon f of a chance of the rarity that you're wanting because the mega digi egg didn't guarantee you the mega evolution line for the Digimon it just gave you a higher chance for that evolution line for that Digimon and I was just like this is so dumb why are they do why did they do this why not make it mega I mean I know why they did that for money but just just bother me. And then there's a chance that the thing breaks. Like you could spend all this money for higher chances and everything. And then there's pe you have people like me who, you know, RNG just gives you the middle finger and says, "Oh, well, you sucks to be you. Go buy another digi egg." Which I don't think I even hatched the digi egg. But so you could go through all this crap. And then whenever you go to hatch the digi egg, after you collect all the core pieces, which I don't remember what data core things you have because you have to click things more drops to put in the item you can't just hatch the egg and have the Digimon right away no you gotta go grind for stuff or buy it for in-game money which people can like just charge whatever they want because it's all player owned stores which I did like um, anyway so after you get all this crap and then you go to actually hatch the Digi egg there is a chance that it fails and you lose a digi egg and then it's just like well I'm out however much the egg costs actually I'm curious Digimon Masters Online Digi Egg Digi Egg yeah I'm curious um Uh, is it mercenary digi eggs? Very rarely, a wild Digimon will drop a mercenary digi egg, which is simply marked with an R and named after Digimon that it dropped. Um, it can be used in the hatching of a mercenary Digimon if supplied with enough data. When scanned, the digi egg is consumed while giving player a high chance of acquiring desirable digi core or data. Yes. So, let me go to. Um, Hold on. Cool. Don't care. <laughs> can also be bought at the cash shop with real money, and they are 100% hatchable with at least a minimum of third phase. Oh, I guess they are 100%. Hatch well, never mind then. Ignore me and my rant. Players can choose a specific Digimon Mercenary Digi Egg that they like. Then a Digi Egg a level of 3, 4, or 5 will be determined randomly after scanning it. Final Digi Egg will obtain will have the following info name of Digimon, blah, blah, blah. So you could get um what's the difference between alpha and beta? Oh, those are mystery digi eggs, never mind. Never mind, who cares about that? Um <laughs> anyway, Digimon. I love Digimon and <laughs> I've only really played Digimon Masters online, which from the last time I checked it out it kind of went to the crap or not that I ever really got far in it. So who knows? Not me. Um I've heard the Digimon World series games is good. I played World Digimon World DS. I did play that. Just the first one. I don't I 
think I beat it. I think I beat it. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, which that one was nice. It had that kind of Pokemon feel to it. Which I liked. Um, I couldn't remember if you could trade or not. But the combat was very interesting. Like, you had three Digimon. And they... There were five spaces. And you had three Digimon in your... Out in the fight. And then three, like, in reserve. And... Um... You could place your three Digimon, you know, one in any of the five spots. And Digimon attacks could have either a self-target, which, yeah, um, they target a single spot, or they could target, like, pairs, threes, or, like, in between rows. It is pretty interesting. So you kind of wanted to not bunch your people up together, but also not spread them all out completely. It was cool. Um, I kind of want to go over there and drop all my shrimp by that guy. That's telling us to clean up our shrimp. He can get over it. I got a multitask, man. You don't understand what I'm going through. So that, that game was fun. I, I have Digimon World for the PS1. Digimon World 1. Because I bought it. And I uh, haven't got any of the others. Cyber Sleuth looks good. I just haven't got it. Um, but I'm definitely getting Digimon Survive. You can bet your money on that. Bet your bottom dollar. Well, maybe not your bottom dollar. I would hate for people to lose money on something that I said. I think at level 10 is whenever we can start doing uh, fishing with a fishing rod. is so I don't want to I don't tech really want to fish all night but I think we might wish I may wish I might all these dreams I wish tonight dreams all these wishes I wish tonight. Mm. I think there are some other Digimon games that I was wanting to play. There's Digimon Rumble Arena 2 for the PS2 that I wanted to play. I think it was PS2. Digimon Rumble Arena 2. PS2, GameCube, and Xbox. And Digimon All-Star Rumble came out on 360. Which I really wanted to get whenever it came out, but I just never did. I think... I think I lost access to the 360 at that point in time. Um, the only issue is... The Digimon Rumble Arena game, Arena 2 games that I had found on eBay were all like pals.
Which, I don't even, I don't know what that means. Oh, those aren't pals. That one's a pal. What is it? What is a pal game? What is a pal? Pal game. Using pal in regards to video games, the term pal region means the list of regions it covered in the past. Television publication territory that covers most of Europe and Africa. Um, okay. <sighs> Interesting. I don't know if that really changes anything. I guess it's just a regional version. Like a, an, a US version. Kind of thing. Like there's Japanese games and there's US versions. Like Famicom and NES. Minus the fact that <laughs> they can only be played on one kind of system. Um, what was the other game I was wanting to play? Oh, I guess Digimon World 2 was one. But the Digimon World games are, like, expensive. Like, it's ridiculous. Then again, I kind of hit myself in the face with that, because I want to play... I want... I'm, I like collecting things. I'm a collector. Okay? You gotta understand. I don't know if you've ever seen me play Skyrim or Oblivion or um, any game where I have a, a nigh unlimited storage and can put literally whatever I want into it. Um, I, I like to collect things. Okay. So that means whenever I I collect things in real life I want them to be complete <laughs> but you see the complete versions of games and by complete I mean game box and manual um, that gets rather expensive did you really just step on the fire I will end you. There's a good fire though. Dang. No. Oh, that's fine. Two left, so close. Oh my god, I just realized. I said I wasn't going to be using anyone else's fires. Because they, they did it wrong. This sucks. Well, that's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. It was what, 30 gold for a fishing? No, it was five. It was five. Ah. Uh, that's a bit irritating. All 
because I use another person's fireplace. That's what you get for being lazy, Robert. That's what you get for being lazy. Let's punch this innocent, this innocent lady. Or kick her, I guess. Why am I kicking her? I should be crushing her. Look, bones! Yay, we can bury bones. Alright, so we can get an axe now. What? 16 coins for an axe. Right, why buy an axe when I can get one for free? Lady, come here. I need a few more coins. Come here. Oh, you can't escape now. First two bones being buried are that of an innocent woman in the town of Lumbridge that we punched to death. And kicked. Punched and kicked. Ah, uh, that works. Need a tinderbox. We can pick up an axe. And... We'll have to go back and buy a... Um, a net. I don't want to start preparing for the actual quest until um, until later, until I'm closer to ready, because dropping things is just a freaking pain. We've got our axe, and we just gotta go back to Port Serum to get our fishing net. Man, I know I jinxed myself the last time I said something like this with the Imp Catcher quest, but wouldn't how cool would it be? Would it have been to, you know, be in the game when the update dropped? I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Like whenever a new skill is added, I'm normally excited. Which they only ever do that in RuneScape 3. Like when Divination came out, I was like, Oh, that's so cool, Divination! You can do so many cool things with it. And I don't think anybody ever uses it. Except maybe for the ports. Um, I mean, I don't even use the ports. I just like training the skill. Second 99 I got, it was actually pretty nice. I didn't find it too boring. Not like agility, dear god. <laughs> dear god, was that skill a horrible, horrible grind. Thief, a man, another thief. Yeah, five points. Excellent. 
I don't think we can fish off the dock here. Because it's too high up. I don't really need the rest of my coins if I'm going to make mistakes like that. I'm going to rearrange this. Thank you. Adapt. That's the way we play as we adapt. This person is still here doing nothing. How have you not been kicked? for a little bit longer. Hopefully about 30 more minutes. If I can last that long. I should probably just stop drinking that Dr. Pepper. That's almost empty. Back to the swamps. I think we want to get. Oh, wait, what's our fishing at? Eight. Yeah. We want to get our fishing up. I'm trying to remember when anchovies was. I want to say anchovies was level 20. Which, if we just fish for anchovies, we're going to get a lot of shrimp as well. Because, uh... Anchovies and shrimp are caught with the same fishing method. I think I'll wait to grab the log until after we have a full inventory. And then we'll go and cook the fish by ourselves so I'm not tempted to <laughs> go use someone else's campfire and completely ruin everything that I hope and dream. Now after the update where we can just use tinderbox on logs in our inventory, then I think we'll be okay. Do I remember when that is? Not particularly. Let me double check. Let me fish and double check. Two birds, one stone, Robert. Two birds, one stone. Two birds, one stone. Forgot about fatigue and oh cats, cool. So if we survive up to Legends Quest, we'll get cats before we can get before we do Legends Quest. That'd be cool. Have a cat. Wow. Ring enchantments. That's RuneScape 2. So I can't use other people's fires until RuneScape... Sorry. 2. Did not mean to smack the microphone. Can I fish these? Do I have the... Do I have the mine 
minus to fish these until uh, level 20. I don't know. I always forget that I have those three right above me. Those, my three, my three friends that Chris made. Uh, Zach made one too. I need to add that somewhere. Maybe get rid of one of Chris's. Chris, if I had to get rid of one of your creations, which one would it be? I'll let you. I'll let you decide. Don't you dare. Listen, I don't have enough space for both yours and Zach's. I'm sorry. Someone's got to go. And it would only be on the RuneScape stream, okay? The middle one. You don't want Green Boy around? Okay. That person was twice the combat level of that giant rat, and they were still getting attacked. Unless they attacked it first, then maybe. Maybe not. The middle one. Alright, so Green Boy. Green Boy's gotta go. Wrong Green Boy. Oh. There's another. There's another monkey man back there. I didn't even know he was back there. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. You know, I put my hair up just to take it back down. I don't know what's wrong with me. Something's wrong. I can feel it. I can smell it. In the air. I can taste it. it. Tastes like air. And um air. Uh oh, it's mostly cloudy. Aerial flood watching effect. Oof. Fun. That's fun. It makes uh, life interesting, I guess. <laughs> oh, now it's gone. No more flood warning. Hmm. Although flood warnings here aren't like, super crazy. I had heard of some people that drove through or drove on streets that the water was high enough to seep into their car. But I haven't driven through anything like that. So Then again, I don't know what roads they drive on. Oh well. Busy is he? I don't even know what that means. They're just busy. Or maybe it's level fifteen we get anchovies? I don't know. Need a fishing rod to bait those fish. Didn't pop up saying anything about a level up, so maybe I'm in the clear. I probably need more money to buy bait if I'm going to fish. Fish with a fishing rod. Because bait is going to be costly.
Unfortunately, it will be. Once we get to level 300 total level, we'll go and uh, lock ourselves in at Hardcore Iron Man. No change of rules. Can I just get the rest of my inventory of fish, please? Is it just us three over here? Hmm. I don't even know how much money we get from shrimp. I guess what I can do is walk over to the uh, general store, cook a shrimp, and then check and see the price. Which it won't be exactly what we sell it for, because... Well, don't have that. It'll it'll depreciate in value. I mean, we could always smelt and smith to get some money, which is probably the best bet. You get these up. I think we need our stats up in the 40s to use rune. Which I want. I do want to use rune. I'm not going up against the dragon unless we're wearing rune armor. Because that's other otherwise it's going to be a big pain. I think I could see magic being something we could use. Um, well because I think she she uses magic in the way of fire of the dragon breath and melee is the other thing which magic equipment has a bonus against melee or something like that Okay, this is this is pretty close. Go ahead and cook them all anyway, because we need to. I thought this said 80 for cooking, which I know it didn't. <laughs> There's no way we're at 80 for cooking. man he's trying to stop me from my goals get off the fire you idiot can't you see I'm cooking level three is that a oh, level 23 I thought that was a level three in black knight armor I was gonna be like wait a second wait a second wait a second there's a um, two coins Wow okay let's 
So at about eight coins is when you lose value. Awesome. Great. I love it. Uh, so what that tells me is we will actually need to get a pickaxe and a hammer. And we shall have to do the honest money method making way of mining and smithing and whatnot. Because we actually make money pretty quickly that way. If I hadn't have used that person's fire, <laughs> I'd still have almost a thousand gold pieces. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually call it here. Um, I'll need to do some research on the crafting. I want to do some research on the fishing, that way I can kind of know where I need to go next. Um, yeah. So, that's going to do it for today. Um, I need to make a note. Smith for gold by fishing rod and bait. Circle. So that's important. Alright, so that's it for this stream. Uh, we have finally unlocked our first 99 gold uh, skill. So we can actually start working at that slowly, very slowly. Um, thieving is going to be easy when we get that because you don't you don't need anything, really. You just, you just go pickpocket people. All right, so I'm done. That's it. Uh, here's their skills at the end of the stream. Um, we can hover over things again. Um, I think we're close to yeah smithing, fishing. And I want these to get to level 40 so we can get rune. And that's level 40. And this probably needs to get up to like level 40 or 50 for the prayer. I'm not entirely sure what I need. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I will log off. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. See ya.